What is up everybody, the Saints fan, and today I'm going to be talking about the recent, you know, maintenance period and why it was down and why what actually happened during the downtime might not be such a bad thing. So before we get into this video, as always, if you do enjoy it, leave a like and subscribe for more awesome GTA content. So before we get into why it may not be a bad thing, first of all, if you're unaware, GTA Online was down for maintenance for the past about 12-ish hours, I think. And basically what Rockstar was doing during this period, they teamed up with Microsoft and they, I guess they, they got all the modded money wiped completely out of GTA Online. And if you were one of the people that were modding this money in, I guess using DNS servers, you were either banned for life on your account on GTA Online or you're in the cheater's pool, or you're in a bad sport lobby, something happened to you if you were one of those guys. Now, you know, if you did do something and you, you're not in one of those pools, then I guess you're just lucky, but most of the cheaters and most of the hackers and stuff like that and modders have been dealt with for the time being. Also, if you were just an innocent bystander like most of us were, and you were gifted money, they took all that money out, and they also took out some money that you may have spent because let's be honest you know whether you were gifted the money or not you you spent it you know, you went out you bought the nice car you bought the nice rims you bought you know everything you always got sticky bombs you always purchased ammo when you needed it you know you never really cared about anything you know if you're like me i bought all the pegasus vehicles so you know right now i'm actually left with five hundred fifty thousand dollars uh, when before I had like 700 million, but before the modded money, I think I had about two or three million. So, you know, I was hoping I'd get the two or three million because it is, uh, just more comfortable having that, like a couple million than having only 500,000. But I do understand what Rockstar did. They did take that into account. I know some people that if you were not gifted money at all, uh, they still actually have their millions of dollars. So if you were one of those lucky guys, then, you know, shout outs to you but for the most part it seems like most people are under a million dollars which again like i said i can definitely understand why rockstar did that now before you get mad at rockstar because i'm sure a lot of you guys probably have you know i've seen some guys that only have like 10 20 000, and as we all know in gta online that's nothing that's like a couple dollars you know in real life almost because just everything costs so much and it's kind of uh, annoying only having so little. Well, obviously that means that, you know, we're going to have to get money legit, you know, and, uh, you know, I'll, I'll be sure to find a video or find a mission, you know, a legit way to actually get money. That's going to be my goal after this, putting up this video. Uh, hopefully I can help you guys level up and, and you know rank up and uh, get money and stuff like that really fast without glitching and worrying about getting into or or getting into the cheaters pool and banning and stuff like that so definitely subscribe and look forward to that but the reason this modded money uh the, the money the money apocalypse the money apocalypse i don't know what you call it but the reason this is actually good is because rockstar did this to balance the economy what that means is that heists is now probably their main priority and they can actually focus on heists instead of worrying about all the glitches all the modders and all this stuff and also a lot of people are speculating which is really possible is that with this the money apocalypse <laughs> i'm gonna keep calling it that means that in addition to heist we might be seeing the stock market and casinos actually work online which is going to be amazing because you know, if you guys played single player, I remember from single player, a lot of the ways people made money in single player is through stock markets and, you know, taking advantage of different things that happen. And, you know, definitely in GTA Online, since it's going to be evolving, I definitely can't wait to see what happens with the stock market, you know, because I think, you know, I, I'm not a stock market pro, but uh, I think it's like if somebody uses, you know, a lot of sticky bombs, then the price of sticky bombs, you know, goes up or something like that. I don't know. It, it <laughs> that's going to be a whole other thing when that comes out. But uh, it, it should be really interesting. And that's why you guys that, you know, don't have a lot of money, uh, you know, including me, we should be happy and not sad that we don't have any money because now, you know, we can actually uh, hope, well, hopefully at least, you know, nothing official has been out of Rockstar, but, 
you know, I'm assuming now it's going to be heists, then probably the mission crater, and then, you know, casino, stock market, and, you know, it's going to be really awesome to see what Rockstar uh, is going to do now that they don't need to worry about all these modders and hackers and uh, now I'm sure somebody will find a, a modded money, or not a modded money, but a glitch to get a money or something like that. And honestly, guys, I would advise you not to do it because if Rockstar has to go down that path again and worry about fixing glitches, then Heist and all this other cool content they have planned is just going to keep moving backwards and eventually, you know, it's never going to come out. So uh, my advice to you guys would be to not, you know, to stay away from those glitches. I understand you know, maybe if you have, like, no money, you're like, well, screw it, man, I need money, you know, I get it, but honestly, I would just stay cool right now, just start playing regular missions, stuff like that, uh, like I said, I'll make, or I'll try to make a video, I'll see what missions still work, and you can sort of do over and over again to get a lot of money, see which one's the best, uh, after the patch, at least, so definitely look forward to that, but that's pretty much it with this video, just a little heads up on what happened and sort of letting you guys know why it's actually really good and not really bad so anyway hope you guys enjoyed again like the video share it subscribe all that stuff and as always this is your boy saint spin i'm out peace